here now with his take on all of this. And, of course, 33 days away from Election Day, we call him the great one, Mark Levin, Life, Liberty, Levin, the number one show. Fox News on weekends uh, is nationally syndicated radio show. And dear friend of mine, great one, how am I? Thank me. God bless us. Well, you sound pretty good. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll give you my take on this Washington Post piece. The question is, why would they put it out now? I think Pam has a very good theory. I have a different theory. And my theory is, this is old news. They could have indicted uh, Hunter a long time ago. They're protecting Joe, of course, because they're not getting into any of the Bobolinsky laptop information, which is ripe for the taking. Joe Biden is a Manchurian putative president. In my view, he's bought and paid for, not just by the uh, communist regime, but others. That said, I'll tell you what I think is going on here. This leak is numerous sources. For some reason, they mentioned Donald Trump twice, who has absolutely nothing to do with this matter. I think what they're trying to do is lay a predicate, lay a foundation, not a legal predicate, but a foundation for the American people, and particularly conservatives that go on, well, why don't they indict him? Why don't they indict Hunter? It's black and white. They've got the goods on him. So then we can have people say, okay, fine. And then we have Merrick Garland say, you see, I believe in equality under the law. So we did X, Y, Z to Hunter Biden, and now we're doing X, Y, Z to Donald Trump. I think this is a complete setup. I think uh, Hunter Biden is small potatoes. I think they're protecting Joe Biden, who obviously is more important. He's the president of the United States, and they have absolutely no interest in him. And by the way, neither do the media. They keep writing books about Donald Trump, like Maggie Haberman and others. Who cares? What about Joe Biden and all of his ties? But I want to talk about this election a little bit, too. And I want the public to understand that the United States, the United States isn't guaranteed to exist as the United States in perpetuity. Uh, countries are subject to demise. Uh, Athens didn't exist, you know, fell, Rome fell, the British Empire exists no longer. We are a country that is falling. We are a country that is uh, facing demise as the number one superpower on the face of the earth. It's not because we voted for this. It's not because we want it. It's because this is what the Democrat Party wants and is doing. This is a man-made grave assault on our liberty, on our prosperity, and our number one status as a superpower step by step by step in every respect. Look at education. Used to be, uh, first, there were no equals. Now, education is failing horribly. The border's wide open. That is a, an affirmative decision by this administration. Massive government redistribution of wealth from the private sector to the phony masterminds in Washington. That's an obvious decision by the Democrat Party. The, uh, the destruction of energy independence. This is an obvious decision by the Democrat Party. Soft on crime, big on criminals. Obvious decision by the Democrat Party. Everything that's going on in this country isn't by mistake. It isn't because of Mother Nature. It is because of the Democrats. The Democrats hate this country. They don't believe in this country. Uh, they're embracing more and more aggressive aspects of Marxism. They oppose an independent judiciary. They threaten justices. Uh, they want to pack the court for the second time in 100 years. Uh, they want to get rid of the filibuster because they want to ram through their agenda, even if they only have 50 Democrat senators. You go on and on and on how they want to destroy our voting system. Uh, and uh, now they want non-citizens to have the right to vote in various cities. The country's coming apart. The country is coming apart at the seams. Our customs, our traditions are under attack. Our history is under attack. And there's one political party that serves as the political force for all these radical and extreme ideas. And it's the same political party 100 years ago that stood for segregation. It's the same political party 100 years ago that refused to support anti-lynching bills. I'm telling it like it is. It's the same political party 100 years ago that supported eugenics. It's the same political party that demands abortion on demand, that rejects morality and ethics, that is teaching our little kids all kinds of, of grotesque behavior, that is teaching our little kids how to be racists and victims, 
that is teaching our little kids to hate the country, to hate capitalism, not just our little kids, but our older kids in colleges and universities where there is no academic freedom, there is no free speech. We have segregated areas now. We have no Jew areas now. This country is out of control. Now, if you want it to continue to fall, you vote for the Democrats. I don't love all the Republicans. As a matter of fact, I'm not a special pleader for the Republican Party. But this time around, that's all we've got. We have got to fight this, this movement, this Democrat Party. It's not about some policy changes, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to read to you what Ronald Reagan said. Freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it to our children in the bloodstream. It must be fought for, protected, and handed for them to do the same or one day we will spend our sunset years telling our children and our children's children what it was once like in the United States where men were free. Ronald Reagan thought Joe Biden was a moron, and he didn't like him. And he didn't like the way he treated people in a very nasty way when he was chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee. Joe Biden is a figurehead for radicals that have been appointed throughout this administration, Obama types and all the rest. We're losing our country. We have to start clawing it back in November. That's it. 33 days. The great one, Mark Levin. Life, Liberty, Levin. Sunday nights, 8 p.m. right here on Fox. Thank you, sir.